section of IELTS examination. My name is Sapna Dhameja and I would be your examiner for this part of the test. This test would be recorded. What is your full name? My name is Lapit Kaur. How may I address you? Just call me by my first name, Lapreet. Okay, great. Where do you come from, Lapreet? Uh, well, I come from Bathinda, which is a very small place, but really very beautiful to stay because there are lots of facilities are available over there. Okay. Do you like this place to live? Uh, definitely, because uh, uh, the people of in, of my era are very cooperative and uh, I can easily get modern facilities uh, from my hometown. Good. Few questions will be based on uh, reading books. Do you like to read books, Lovepreet? I uh, will definitely. I have keen interest to read books because it acts as a stress puzzle for me and even it is a help, it to help a lot to increase my knowledge about each and every concept. Mm -hmm. What type of books you like to read? Uh, well, being a student, um, I give preference to story books because uh, it helped me to increase my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes, according to you, is it important for children to read books? Absolutely right, uh, because uh, uh, the development of children, bo reading books is uh, very uh, beneficial for them because uh, if they read uh, a, a book which are not which is not available without any picture, they, their imagination power would be increased. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was the last book you read? Um, if I recall my memory, last Saturday I was free and I was searching something on my smartphone and fortunately I uh, I see a book, there was uh, the name of this book very eye-getting and uh, the this book is based on uh, eat, drink and be healthy and even uh, with, the, with the help of this book, uh, I enhance my knowledge about uh, how to be how to become a health, how to become a healthy. Okay, few questions will be based on happiness. What things make you feel happy, Lovepreet? Uh, well, I'm a funny person. I always stay happy, and uh, there are uh, numerous things which always make me feel happy. Firstly, whenever I started to read books, it uh, it uh, increased my happiness. Uh, moreover, uh, I'm a gregarious person. Whenever I spend time with my family member, it is uh, also um, help me a lot to increase my happiness level. Okay. What activities do you do to feel happy when you were younger? Um, I vividly remember that when I was a child, I used to play games and uh, I like I liked to spend time with my family member. Mm -hmm. Do you know a person who always try to give happiness to you? Uh, well, I'm an extrovert person. I know many people who always uh, give me happiness, but uh, uh, I, but uh, one is uh, uh, really close to my heart. He is uh, none other than my father because. Uh, he has a good sense of humor. He always tries to give happiness to me. Good. Few questions will be based on flowers. Do you like flowers? Uh, being a, a nature lover person, I really love flowers because it gives me aesthetic pleasure whenever I see them. What kind of flowers you know? Uh, well, I know numerous flowers such as lily, mm -hmm. uh, sunflower, and rose, and so on. Have you ever get flower as a gift from someone? Uh, definitely. Uh, last year there was an occasion of my birthday and uh, one of my best friend Hosan who gave me a flower as a gift and uh, I never forget because I am emotionally attached with that moment. Mm -hmm. Good. This is end of part one. Now I am going to ask a few cards. This is a few cards. And you will have to speak at least for two minutes. Okay. If you wish to make notes, you can. So guys, you can see that Lovepreet, she is coming from Batinda to prepare her IELTS. And if you are not able to come here, you can join my application named Your IELTS Partner. This is an online platform where you can prepare your IELTS entire, every module, whether it is speaking, writing, listening or reading. We can help you out best. There are many recorded sessions available. And every week new cue cards and the doubt sessions are also there. You can download this application. Both iOS users and Android users can download the application by following simple steps and the steps are given in the description below. Thank you. Your time starts now. Uh, well, I'm a techno savvy person. I really love to explore different kind of websites to learn something new. Although I came across with various websites in my life, but today here I would like to talk to you about uh, one of my favorite website. It is a uh, uh, YouTube.com, which is which has uh, my favorite website nowadays. 
I vividly remember that I came to know about that website when I was in ninth standard, and there was an occasion of my birthday, and fortunately my parents gave me a mobile phone as a gift, and then I downloaded that that website for learn something new. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that uh, YouTube is not a uh, entertainment source, but also it provide a deep knowledge about each and every concept. Apart from that, after completing my senior secondary education, I started to learn English. English language, which uh, now uh, I use, I really useful for me, and um, it helped me a lot to increase my confidence level to speak in front of everybody, especially in English. And I recall my memory. Uh, last year there was occasion of my brother birthday, and I wanted to bake a cake for him, but uh, uh, unfortunately I don't know about uh, cooking. But uh, um, I realized about YouTube, and uh, I took help from YouTube videos in which I bake a cake after two hours. When I presented that cake in front of my brother. Uh, he got surprised and he felt like a dog have a two tail and I ca I can't explain that uh, feelings. Uh, so uh, it helped me a lot that time. It is only possible because of YouTube videos. Uh, nowadays I'm also watching uh, uh, English movies which are really beneficial for me to increase uh, my English level uh, to speak in front of everybody. Moreover, I always recommend this app to others uh, to uh, come to know about different kind of things uh, to capture it all this is a website which I like the most okay. so this is the end of part two now I'm going to ask all your questions which will be based on yoga what are most popular apps and least popular apps in your country uh, well, India is a diverse country and there are lots of apps which are uh, commonly seen. Uh, firstly, if I talk about most popular, Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp are the most popular uh, apps in, in, among citizens of my country. On the other hand, uh, uh, the uh, education related app are uh, not used by uh, youth because they consider that it is a boring app for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, can internet help children in this study? Uh, Absolutely right because the internet play an important role especially in children's life because one can enhance their knowledge about every concept. Uh, take an ex uh, take a COVID-19 as an as an example. Uh, when uh, uh, everything is closed due due to lockdown and uh, long distance learning is uh, preferred by majority of individual to learn something new and even children are also complete their task with the help of internet. Okay. Are libraries still beneficial? If uh, yes, then why? If no, then why not? Um, well, uh, according to my perception, uh, libraries play an important role in every person's life because uh, uh, nowadays, if I talk about older people, they are usually unable to use uh, technical gadgets in which they can get uh, uh, information regarding a uh, uh, concept. So that's why they give preference to library. And uh, according to me, library is important for older people. Okay. What other reasons that you think that these are important? Is it still beneficial for every age group? Um, according to my perception, uh, if I talk about uh, old, uh, young people, they are uh, become habitual to use technical gadgets such as computer and uh, mobile phone in which uh, they can get uh, information regarding every concept. Uh, so that's why they are not uh, uh, habitual to give preference to library. So according to me, uh, libraries are not uh, uh, important for them. What is the difference between the old and younger in regards to internet use? Uh, well, it depends on person to person choice. If I talk about older people, they use internet just for getting information and talk of with their near and dear ones. Uh, however, uh, young people use internet for various purposes such as uh, uh, play uh, computer games and moreover they are scrolling uh, uh, just for uh, uh, watching reels uh, to, uh, to entertainment and uh, they, can, uh, they also use uh, uh, internet for the study purpose. Okay. For what purpose do you use internet? Could you repeat please? For what purpose do you use internet? Uh, well, there are uh, uh, many purpose which uh, are used of, uh, just for entertainment because uh, uh, because internet play an important role uh, for uh, for uh, um, 
for stay happy in our life so i always use internet just for entertainment okay. thank you lovely this is end of the test thank you so much this is time to give the feedback for lovely speaking part 1 she dealt very carefully with huge confidence and above all she was elaborating her answer very carefully in 3 to 4 lines so this was up to length when you are explaining your answer to the examiner in the introductory part so it is advisable that give your answer at a length at least in 3 on 3 and 4 lines and she had done the same thing above all the choice of word it was really amazing she had used very rare words while answering in the part 1 in part 2 again she had supported her answer with good vocabulary and her pronunciation was really great and the one best thing that she had done over here in part 2 that she supported her answer with a good example so when you are explaining part 2 i mean that q card then if you are supporting with an example then it can be scoring and she had done the same thing in part 3 honestly speaking i am not satisfied with her follow up answers because first of all her opinion was not strong enough so in part 3 it is always advisable that you must have a strong opinion while answering and she had done some mistakes while answering some questions question number 2 and question number 3 the answers was not up to mark so that is why here her score is deducted in part 3 it is always advisable that you must have strong opinion whether examiner is asking why and how questions stay tuned to your answer add two or three more lines so it can be scoring but she was bit nervous over here and not having a strong opinion that is why i have given 6.5 band score to her and hope this interview is really helpful this interview can be helpful for improving your score thank you so much